Cash and I decided we uh, we want to start to make the boat ready inside. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, do some cleaning and some stuff. So, just to show you, um, all this tools and stuff is gone that uh, we were using earlier, you know, for all that pump uh, work and all that. Kasia is cleaning up. Right now we are having a cup of coffee, which is really nice, huh? Tak. Cup of coffee and cigarette. No. Very nice. And, um, yeah, so I'm trying to sort out all these boxes here. Uh, what should go home and what should stay on the boat and it's, uh, yeah, I have to say I made a bit of a mess of it, so I'm trying to sort it out what to keep and what not to keep. Even if we should not be able to go sailing, we decided at least we can use the boat for recreational purposes. Let's put it like that. And um, yeah, maybe come here for the weekend or whatever. And we will see. Recreation, hiding from Corona. Hide, no. Hiding from the virus, yes. So you think we should pre-start the fridge? That's what I think. And look, there's even light. Yeah, there is nothing more than light. So if I put it on four and a half, try to turn down the radio. Let's hear how noisy it is, actually. Not noisy. Not that much, actually. It's less than the other one. Mm. So tomorrow it's a little moving in, cleaning up the wheelhouse and cleaning up out in the cockpit. Yeah, so uh, now we got the boat moved and uh, we are moved in, if you can call it that. We moved a lot of stuff here to the boat. We got the mast down, so it's down here. There it is. And then we will start working on that uh, in the weekend or over Easter. So that's where we are right now. So. But it all looks quite good. Kasia, she's on the computer right now. And starting to look a little bit like home. She even brought Easter flowers. Brilliant. So, whenever, whenever we get the chance, yeah, then all we have to do is drop her into the water and then go sailing. But let's see, in these corona times, who knows? When that is gonna be, nobody knows. It's uh, it's a bit worrying, isn't it? It's uh, it's a bit bleak. Yeah, well, let's not dwell on uh, on all the bad stuff and then look at the positive stuff and then be happy. Be happy, happy. I mean, still in good health. Yeah. So. Um, I'm gonna do something that I have never ever tried before and that is working on the roller furling. Uh, now me being an old wooden boatman, we didn't, I didn't have roller furling on my wooden boats, any of them, so <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out exactly how the roller furling is assembled. Uh, luckily I have the, uh, the manual, so I will see if I can figure that out. I need to adjust it and I need to check the wire uh, for damage. So I'm trying to figure out how to open it, but I think I, uh, I think I found it. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Apart from that, yeah, well, uh, we decided to stay on the boat for a few days. Um, 
over Easter here. So uh, that'll be nice, even though we are still on the hard. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, the way it is in Poland right now, I mean, we can put her into the water. We are pretty much ready. All we need to do is and do the anti-fouling and mount the propeller. And then she's ready to go into the water. But it doesn't really make any sense because we are not allowed to go anywhere. We cannot sail anywhere anyway. So um, I will spend a little more time on doing maintenance instead of putting her into the water. Some things are easier on the heart. So, yeah. Um, and that's how it is and we, we will see how it goes I mean right now <clears throat> it's not only us it's the whole world and it's completely completely gone mad with coronavirus and it's it's uh, uh, it's horrible it's absolutely horrible it's um, I really hope that everybody is okay I really do yeah but it's affecting all of us so it's not only Kasia and I, uh, everybody is affected. I can see around here, I mean, normally before Easter, there would be quite a few boats in the, in the water here. But um, yeah, there's the sail training school. They got their boats into the water and that's about it. Uh, not much else. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it is. Yeah, well, we can talk a lot about that. Catch you later, guys. So, yeah, so here it begins, life in a boatyard. Kasia is co cooking the first meal of the season and we are having today curry chicken, something like that. Yes, chicken curry. Chicken curry, curry curry. curry, curry. Rice and curry. Hmm. Odie is here, and you can see it's still a bit messy. But we are getting slowly everything into where it should be. So yeah, Kasia started her own little uh, flower garden, not flowers, Kohanya, what do you call Vegetables, it? Vegetables. Ah, there's herbs. some herbs and strawberries and some stuff, yeah. And it's beer o'clock. So cheers everyone and uh, stay safe. So yeah, just a little update on what we are doing. I'm doing all this work on the mast. And um, <clears throat> I will just show you, see if I can do it without shaking too much. Uh, I took the bottom out of the mast, uh, maybe. But inside the mast here, you can see there are two pipes and that's what I wanted to check for, uh, for cabling, which is absolutely brilliant. So, uh because we had because we had that shaking uh, inside the mast and i thought it was the cables banging but it, it can only be uh, the falls and the halyards or whatever you call them in english but it can only be all the ropes inside the mast that uh, that were banging a little bit so i'll need to figure out a way how to fix that the roller furling yeah as you can see i moved it a little bit because it was for some reason run out of adjustment. So now when we install the mast again, I will have to readjust everything. But yeah, that's just how it is. We have up here in the top of the mast. Yeah, these ones, you see this? This looks absolutely terrible. I hate rusty stuff. So these will have to go and we will make some new ones. I know I have mentioned before in some of our videos is that uh, silicone Sika something, yeah. Um, I just found out that looking at the mast foot, it was absolutely horrendous. Now it turns out that it was glued in place with this, and uh, here's the mast foot. Now I'm trying to get this off. I mean, it's uh, it's absolutely horrible. So let's get on with it. See what we can do about that. Shake it, baby.
Yeah, so uh, now the mast foot. Let me see if I can loosen it up. Bum, 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 bum. That's what it looks like, the mast foot. And uh, under that one, and we can go up on the boat and have a look. Under that there is a plate where you have all these holes for blocks, where you can uh, shackle the blocks in. Uh, I will go up on the boat, um, and I will show you exactly what they have done previous. Which seems very wrong to me, but we can go up and have a look. <clears throat> yeah, so now we are up on the boat, and uh, up here it was exactly the same as I showed you down in the, in the trailer. Silicone shit. Yeah. Um, so the mast is sitting on top of this plate. And what I found out now, I just covered the hole so they don't get full of water. But I can open one up. If you can imagine this. sitting like this and then these bolts I could simply just pick them up Whoop, like that I mean they were completely loose so I could just pick them up so I lift everything up just like that of course that's not really what I want I really would like to know that everything stays exactly down, it's just need to make sure that the bolt actually stays in the holes to prevent the foot from sliding and that would be a disaster. So, but I can see that the surface is a little uneven. So I'm gonna have to mix up some epoxy resin or some gel coat or something to even it out. Now I'll go in and do some editing instead and get a video out to you guys. I think I'll have more benefit out of that than sitting out here. There is a bit of work to be done, proper cleaning and yeah. So let's go inside, it's too cold. We can have a coffee. But that's how it looks when we look over Kasia's flower garden here. <laughs> And uh, so when it gets a little bit warmer, when it gets a little bit warmer, I will have a chance to do that um, gel coat or epoxy resin on that mast foot. You know, like I talked about, to even out the surface. So, because I really don't like it when it's moving just a little bit. It needs to sit there absolutely flat. So, uh, but I have some ideas, but uh, that'll be in the next video, how we do that. Hi everybody. Hey there. So, uh, here from the boatyard in Yastarnia, on board Michalina, Kasia and I would like to wish you all a uh, happy, happy Easter. Happy Easter. No. I... Vesok Svjant. Og god påske. You will see this video right after Easter, but this is just to let you know we were thinking about all of you and we hope you are all safe and sound. I hope that uh, all this Corona stuff that we are seeing right now will be over. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it doesn't look like it will end anytime soon as such. Something we will just have to learn to live with, I guess. What do you think? Yeah. It, uh, it sucks big time, but that's how it is. So, guys, if nothing else, happy Easter. Happy Easter. That was all for this time, guys. Remember to push that subscribe button and push that little bell so you'll get notifications of our next video. Until next time, 
See you then. Bye bye.